afternoon watchers Scott at SE Landscaping um, we've got some cemetery paths to clean um, next week once the, the weather dries up a bit um, with our power brush and the power brush also cleans back to pin curbs as well so you don't have to sort of edge it off but I've got the still battery combi tool in the back of the, the van and I've got the the edger with the edger blade and it's very rare we use this nowadays with having the power brush but I just thought I'd get it out because not everybody can afford to spend two or three thousand pound on a power brush but they might have a budget to spend 150 pound or or whatever these things cost I don't think they're much more than that on one of these edges so I'm just going to show you how easy it is to, to do it same again there's still snow on the ground it's still wet and horrible so it won't come up as easy as if it was dry and it would just chip off nicely so I'll once I get to um once I get to the job I will run you through um the machine and just show you show you how easy it is to to edge this um this little bit of footpath and how much of a big difference it makes ready for the ready for the summer coming um like I say just to tidy edges up and things the one that I'm going to do it's actually been run over in part so it's got a couple of tire tracks on as well and what tends to happen is when someone drives on a a bit of grass that's above a curb it pushes it out even more so that's why we tend to edge um, areas once a year anyway or sometimes twice a year if we if we're going for Britain in bloom we'll ju do them again just before the bloom meeting so they all look crisp and tidy so stay tuned guys and we shall get you some footage so this is a task in hand as you can see a couple of inches of um being run over which will be the knock down and then it's just a general um general tidy up really and this is the machine we've got so we've got the metal head on the end the wheel for pushing along the curb and it's a combi attachment and it's attached it runs off our battery with our KMA 130 
And there you go, guys. So you can see there, um, not everybody, as I said earlier, not everybody has the money for huge outlays on these power sweepers. Yes, they become more popular and they become more cheaper. There's a couple of cheaper models out there now. I think you can sort of pick some of these uh, products up for 13, 1400 pound a, a shot, um, which is a lot cheaper than they were years ago, but, and a lot cheaper than some of the more expensive ones where Kirsten, I mean, you can pay five, six, seven thousand pounds for for one of those products. Um, yes, they mold the use, and you can put other things on, but it's a lot of outlay. So, the good thing with these is most people in the trade have a combi attachment, whether it be petrol or battery, it doesn't matter. It's all the same. Obviously, you've seen the benefits of the battery one; it's so much quieter. All you have to change on these products is the blade, which I believe be wrong I believe they're about six pound or something um, that's roughly what I think they are if I remember rightly which isn't a huge amount of money so if you have to put a blade on every so often um, it's it's not too bad to be honest but you've seen the, the finished product there and then just to go up afterwards with a shovel and and then to blow it but if you're going up with a hand edge yeah, you, you've obviously you're working your legs and everything so it's adding to the time so the products the, the the items really good it's well worth investing in if anybody's thinking of getting one i definitely recommend it just to have in the vans it's it's got other uses as well you can edge um, lawns off so rather than using edge and shears you can actually use this tool to to, ed to edge the grass providing you keep a, a nice sharp blade obviously if you've been using a blade on paving where you've got um, uneven paving and you, you've dug in once or twice into a bit of concrete it's not gonna be as sharp and it's not gonna be as effective on the on the grass because grass is very fine so you'd, you, you're you best off having two blades really one for rough one for taking up soil and then keeping one just for you if you're edging lawns with it but it doesn't even make lawns a lot easier than, than obviously the edging shears so like I say, I hope the video has helped guys. Any questions on anything as, as usual, um, just drop them in the comments below. Alternatively, email address is just above now. You can email me on anything. Quite a, quite a few of you guys are in sort of daily contact at the moment. And don't feel as if you're taking up my time. Like I've said on previous videos, if I can help, I will help you out. So thanks for watching guys, and we will see you on the next one.